to feel. I mean, part of me just wants to crawl into a hole and die. But most of all, I want to kill Teresa with my bare hands. I trusted her, Sheridan, and she stole Ethan right out from under my nose. And then I asked her to be my maid of honor. I bet she got a real laugh out of that one. Oh, Gwen, I doubt it. No, I don't. Not for a second. Tomorrow should have been the happiest day of my life. But now I would give anything not to have to wake up in the morning because of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Why are you two talking about my sister? Uh, Gwen's just a little upset, that's all. A little? Uh, look, Gwen, why don't you go in the other room and freshen up, and then we'll talk. I'm gonna kill them. You wanna tell me what's going on here? Who's Gwen gonna kill? What's up, big bro? Thinking about a lost love? Well, okay, once all these papers are burned, Julian and Alistair can ask all the questions they want. There'll be no proof that Ethan isn't Julian's son. And no one, including Ethan, will ever know that Sam was his father. Oh! If my father and the Cranes hadn't kept me away from Sam, my true love, my first love, I still would be with him. How can you not see it, Ivy? Do you not realize that you are doing the exact same thing they did to you? You are keeping two people apart who love each other. Your son and my daughter. We no longer have a problem, Rebecca. The computer record of Teresa boarding a flight at Harmony Airport has disappeared as if by magic poof. <laughs> Bravo, Julian. Yes, Ethan will have absolutely no way of knowing where Teresa went. At least I don't have to worry about her anymore. You see, if you remove the temptation, the male of the species comes to his senses out of sight, out of mind. Works for me. And it will for Ethan. You see, he'll look at the situation with a, a clear head. He'll realize what the family wants is best for everyone involved, including him. Yes, Ethan and Gwen will be back together again and married as soon as possible. Are you absolutely sure there was no listing of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald taking a flight out here? Sorry. W w where could she be? I wish I could be more helpful. If she leaves, I may never see her again. I mean, I did it all for her. I canceled my wedding to Gwen. I mean, went through hell with my family. I did it all for her. And I can't lose her now. I hate Sam to look so sad, honey. It's sad. My heart is... But I know what I'm doing is the right thing. This is goodbye forever, Ethan. I'll never see you again. Never see your face. Look into your eyes. You belong to another woman now. I only hope she can give you the happiness that you deserve. This has to be a big mistake. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald was given a ticket to fly anywhere she wants by Mrs. Hotchkiss. Wait, look under that name. Rebecca Hotchkiss. We'll check. Oh, I've got to find her. She must be going through hell thinking I was using her. Yes, 
sir. She has to feel like her heart's been ripped out. She ran away because of me. It's my fault. I've got to find her. I love her. I'm really sorry, Mr. Crane, but there's no record of a Rebecca Hotchkiss flying out today either. Damn it, Teresa. Here. Thanks. There's an old saying, good riddance to bad... No. No, Ethan is not rubbish. I mean, he couldn't be bad even if he tried. He's the most wonderful man in the world. Didn't you just get through saying that he was just using you? That he was just making a, a play for you before he got married? Yes. It's true. Honey, in my book, that is about as low as you can go. But I'll never love another man the way I loved Ethan. He was perfect. And I will think of him every hour of every day for the rest of my life. You couldn't be more wrong, Pilar. What was done to me is completely different than what's happening with Ethan and Teresa. No, it is not. Yes, it is. My father arranged for me to marry Julian, and I did. I didn't love Julian. I never loved Julian. Ethan has been in love with Gwen virtually his entire life. Well, your son may have only loved Teresa for a short while, but he obviously loves her very much, or he wouldn't have called off the wedding. Oh, he's confused. No, Ivy. No. The simple truth is, you want your son to choose Gwen over my daughter. Not because you think he loves her more, but because Teresa isn't from your class, just like Sam wasn't from your class. <gasps> that is so unfair. If my son doesn't marry Gwen Hotchkiss, he loses everything, and you know that. His grandfather will disown him, and every dream I have ever had for my son will vanish. What about Ethan's dreams, or Teresa's? <laughs> I have stayed married to Julian all of these years just so my son can inherit the crane wealth and power. And the thought that he is going to give up all of that, I can't bear it. Wealth and power mean nothing to me. But I have as little desire to see your son with my daughter as you do. But you just said... As much as they love each other, I still do not believe it would work. There are too many things against them. <sighs> Far too many. But what makes me angry, <sighs> what I resent the most, is that Rebecca Hotchkiss dared to interfere with my family. What gave her the right to give my daughter a ticket to anywhere in the world? God help that woman if anything happens to my baby girl. My only hope is that Ethan comes to his senses quickly. But we share the same hope, Rebecca. I'm just disappointed that the Crane family doesn't have more influence over Ethan. I mean, I always thought he and Ivy shared some sort of special bond. Mm. Indeed. Yet she walks when she should be here trying to help us resolve this. I agree. Where the hell is she? What did she have to take care of that was so important? Important. So he's sneaking off to the strangest places, talking to the oddest peoples, the Bennets and the Russells. Do you know why? For the life of me, I can't figure that one out. Why bother trying? Well, I wouldn't if I didn't have this feeling that she's keeping something from me and has been for months. I just haven't been able to put together what it is. Julian, I hope you don't mind my being blunt. I mean, this is no time to, to pussyfoot around. You can't control Ethan because you can't control your wife. What, your family is in crisis and she walks? What would you have me do, chain her up? Let's forget about Ivy for the moment, huh? Let's talk about, um, 
You and me. Yeah, I was thinking of a lost love. How did you know? Well, this was your special place back in high school, right? When you were dating that mysterious girl? Yeah, I saw her tonight. You're kidding. Yeah, she was upset. So alone, man, it really hit me. Wait a second, you're not... You don't have something going on with this woman, do you? <laughs> Come on, are you serious? Come on, I love Grace. Grace and I have a... have a wonderful marriage. Okay. I'd never be unfaithful to her. That's what I figured. Man, that, that first love. Well, I've forgotten my first love, but my future and present love is right here in my heart. Don't tell me. Sheridan Crane. Doc, come on, Hank. Forget about her. No can do. Look, she's a crane, and getting involved with a crane is only going to cause She's you... not like the rest of them. <laughs> Hank, why don't you find yourself a down-home harmony girl? I mean, somebody real. Somebody you can raise a family with. Look, there's nothing like having kids. I mean, seeing yourself and your firstborn son, it's, uh... Man, it, it, it's, it's an incredible feeling, you know? Look, don't get me wrong. I love my girls every bit as much as I love Noah. There's something special about a son. You've got it all, bro. I gotta get going. Where are you going? Sheridan's. You know what? Maybe I'll tag along with you. Check on Luis, make sure he's doing all right. What'd Gwen mean, Sheridan? Who's she gonna kill? And why was she talking about my sister? Gwen's... Upset because Ethan called off the wedding. Who what? <sighs> He's having second thoughts. It's a little late for that, isn't it? The wedding's tomorrow. Yeah, it was supposed to be. <sighs> Typical crane stunt. You know, you're wrong. I mean, Ethan didn't mean to hurt Gwen. He loves her. Yeah, and the only way to show the depth of his love was to dump her, huh? Well, he felt that with the way things were, he had no other choice but to call it off. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me as long as it doesn't affect my family. You know, but you still haven't told me why you were talking about Teresa. Well, Teresa was helping out with the wedding. Apparently, she has a real knack with flowers. She was helping out with the wedding? She wanted to make some extra money, and she knew that you would be unhappy, so that's why she didn't say anything. Unhappy? Try furious. Look, Luis, would you give your sister a break? I mean, she wasn't contaminated by the cranes, and she made some extra money. Why don't you uh, step outside for a minute? I, I really need to talk to Gwen alone. She's in a lot of pain. All right. I'm not through with this Teresa thing, all right? I feel like I'm not getting the whole story, and I want it. Oh, yes, right there. That's the spa. <laughs> Will you let me know if there's any other spa? Oh, Julian. You deserve to be taken care of. You're such a special man. I mean, you see something you want, you go after it, and you get it. Oh, I admire that in a man. I admire you. One does what one can. Oh, you do more than that. You make things happen. Mm. Oh. Mm. You know, it's a shame your family insisted you marry Ivy. If you don't mind my saying so, she's so cold. Yes. An ice princess. <laughs> so completely unlike you. Mm. You know, I knew your marriage was a mistake from the very beginning. I was there, remember? I was Ivy's maid of honor. Oh, fair, fair maid you were, Rebecca. And all. Yes, I knew your marriage would come off the tracks the minute you walked down that aisle. Yes, train wreck we have. Oh, it's just such a pity. I mean, with your power and my talents, 
silly me. <laughs> what am I saying? A bite? What are you saying? We could conquer the world. Tell me more. Well, I mean, what if you were to just forget Ivy? You know, get rid of her. And, well, here we got together. Yes, we'd make a formidable. Pilar, so much. I mean, I kept Ethan's parentage from him. I've never breathed a word of it to anyone just so that my son could inherit the crane mantle one day and the thought that he is going to lose it. I will not have it. Teresita. I mean, you, you plan something so carefully. You build every moment and then you endure the frustration and the loneliness of the I heartache. am so tired of your whining. What? For years. I have listened to you go on and on about your problems since before you were even married. What about my problems? Huh? Have you ever considered for just a moment that I might be upset about something? Why? No. No. There have been times when I was worried sick. I am now. I didn't know. You didn't want to know. My family has been torn apart. The love of my life, my husband, disappears. My son Antonio gone, and now my daughter. God only knows where she is. And the only thing that you, <laughs> that you can think about is yourself. Why? Well, Maybe Luis is right. Maybe the cranes are to blame for Martin's disappearance. There's certainly the reason Teresa is gone. Why? No. Luis risks his life to protect Sheridan. And my daughter works at the mansion. She does your bidding. She does whatever Gwen wants her to do for the wedding, even though it's killing her inside. God, and what does my family get in return? What? Scorn, anger, and a one-way ticket to nowhere. I had nothing to do with that. The ticket was Rebecca's idea. Yes. Right, Ivy, because you were up at the mansion with your designer clothes and your jewels and your servants moaning <laughs> about your lost love. That's a cruel thing to say. One day you say, I swear, Pilar, I am going to tell Sam that Ethan is his son, and the next day you say you can't. Well, I, I am sick and tired of it. Yes, you've made that quite clear. What about, what about me? What about what's happened to my family? Do we count for absolutely nothing? You've never spoken to me this way before. Well, maybe it's time I did. Now, Teresa. Even if we don't win first prize, you make a beautiful bride to be. Really? Well, I wouldn't lie. And you know what? This is a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm having fun too. <laughs> I just wish Chad and Whitney would let themselves enjoy it too. They will if they're meant to. True love always wins out in the end. Only this time. Please, God, I love Teresa. I don't know where she is, but please don't take her away from me. Teresa? She's on that plane, oh my God. That's her! She's out there on that plane pulling out. 
The Australia flight. Yeah, you've got to get it to turn back. Head back to the gate. I'm sorry, but that's out of the question. Look, get on the phone and call the pilot. I can't. Look, then have the tower call him and tell him to turn back. Once the plane is taxiing... Look, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. But I can't. Look, if that flight goes to Australia, I'll lose Teresa. I may never see her again. I wish I could help you. I really do. But nothing can bring that plane back now. I loved Ethan my whole life, Sheridan. Oh, sweetie, I know. I've never even been with another man, never even looked at another man since the first time Ethan and I went out. It was, it was love at first sight for both of us. He told me. I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with him. I hate seeing you go through this. I hate that I was just so stupid about Teresa. God, I had my suspicions. They were always there in the back of my head, but somehow I always managed to keep my eyes shut as to what was really going on. How could I have been so stupid? How could I have been so stupid? I wish you wouldn't beat yourself up. She was so sly, so cunning. Just a vicious lowlife, that's all she is. Hey, Louise. Hey, what's going on, Sam? I just came by to make sure everything was okay. Job-wise, uh, very quiet. And otherwise? What? What happened? Did Sheridan give you the heave-ho? No. Sheridan's in there right now trying to calm Gwen down. Ethan broke off the wedding. What? Are you serious? Just pulled the whole plug. <sighs> Ethan. He is becoming more and more like a crane. You know, I think he's a good kid. He's nothing like his old man. Oh, look what he's done. I mean, cut out on his fiance the night before the wedding? That's pretty damn cold. Well, I'm sure he had his reasons. The Cranes don't need reasons. They just do whatever they want in the hell with the rest of us. Like I said, you stay away from them, all right? Forget about them. No can do, bro. All right, look, look, look. Ethan can stay a bachelor for the rest of his life, as far as I'm concerned. What's bugging me is that, uh, I found out Teresa's helping out with the wedding. She has? Sheridan just told me. Why didn't Teresa tell me? Now I wonder what else she's been keeping from me. A very good team. Yes, you and I would make for a dynamic duo. What are we going to do about it? Believe me, I'm tempted, but Father would never stand for my divorcing Ivy. Hmm. Well, let's play what if for a minute, shall we? I mean, what if your suspicions are correct and Ivy is hiding some deep, dark secret? No, that's not a what if, that is given. Well, what if that secret was revealed? Would that change Alistair's mind? Well, it would have to be something very explosive, something that would severely hurt the family, and I doubt Ivy's secret is of that magnitude. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Father. There is no need to shout. I'm not sitting on my duff. I'm going to find out what caused the breakup. And I suspect that Pilar had more than a little to do with it. I'm sure she schemed to push Teresa in front of Ethan. Why am I not at Pilar's now when I was planning on going over there later? Ivy's there. I'll get right on it, Father. Yes, you can count on me. Goodbye to you too, Father. <clears throat> I have to go over to Pilar's, ask her a couple of questions, see why Ivy's there. Who knows, perhaps stumble over her secret in the process, which she's probably confiding to Pilar even as we speak. Pilar, I never realized you felt this way. 
You think it unjustified? No. No, I don't. What you say is true. I... I have only thought of myself. You have been a trusted friend and my only confidant. And how have I rewarded you? I haven't... I have treated you so shabbily, and I am so sorry, Pilar. I truly, truly apologize. I accept your apology, but it doesn't change anything. I still don't know where my little girl is. I know that Issa and Ethan can never be together. It wouldn't work out. In their case, love is not enough. Thank God Teresa never got a hold of Ethan's birth papers. Teresa, what is that in your hand? And it's nothing, Mama. Let me see it, Teresa. No, Mama. Teresa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You found the suitcase. Why were you hiding it? How could you know that Ethan is Sam Bennett's son and not tell him? Thank goodness I convinced Teresa not to say anything. Once I burned this last paper, letter to Sam explaining everything, no one will ever know the truth. Up to now. Julian? What are you doing, Ivy? I want to speak to your manager immediately. Forget about him, honey. He's not worth it. No man is. You pay that jerk back for what he did to you. Email those documents. That'll really get him where he lives. I can't do it. I love him. I can only hope that I never see him again. Hello, I'm the manager. Yes, How may the I? The flight to Australia. You have to stop it from taking off. I am terribly sorry. Sir. I don't want sorry. I want that flight back at the gate. I told him it was impossible. Look, I am a... My name is Ethan Crane. My family owns that plane. My family owns this whole damn airline. Now, the woman I love is on that plane and I want it stopped. Now get on the phone and call whoever you have to call. You don't understand, Mr. Crane. It is impossible to stop at FAA regulations. Well, crane regulations say that plane turns around. And if it doesn't, you're fired. I'll take that. What, this? It's rubbish. Pilar and I were cold and we just thought we'd have a fire. You may think you have your secrets well concealed, but Father will smoke them out. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nothing escapes Alistair Crane. Nothing. Well, for your information, I came here to see Teresa. I had hoped I could persuade her to talk some sense into Ethan. Teresa is the innocent in all of this. Ethan is the one who started the relationship. And I thought maybe Teresa could see that they would have no future together. You actually thought she'd do that? Hmm. Yes. I did, and she would if she knew that there could never be anything meaningful between them. Mm. And just where is little Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald? I don't know. She was gone when I got here. Mm. It's her fault. You have some nerve coming here. How dare you send my Teresa away? That little whore you call your daughter should be grateful I paid for her ticket. <laughs> I'll get that scheming little witch if it's the last thing I do. Look, Gwen, I know you're upset, but from what I've heard about Teresa, it's hard for me to believe that she's a sly and devious. How could you possibly take her side, Sheridan? I'm not. It's yeah, because just... you got the hots for Louise, right? Oh, Gwen, you know better than that. Yeah, I do. I do. 
I'm sorry, Sheridan. Teresa wasn't just a some other woman. She was my maid of honor, and she stole my fiancé. One thing you have to remember is that Ethan never stopped loving you. Right. Now, Great. It's true. I mean, Ethan feels terrible for what he's done, but how could he go ahead with the wedding? He needed to straighten out his feelings. Look, just give him some time. He'll get it together. There are two things I learned from this experience, Sheridan. Always trust your instincts about someone and give wide berth to the Lopez Fitzgeralds. And that goes for you too, Sheridan. Stay away from those people because they are only after one thing, and that's the crane money. I'm gonna take off. You need me. Yeah, I'll get on the horn. Okay. See you later, little bro. See ya. See you, See you Chief. I know you're steamed about this thing, okay? But give Teresa a break. She was just trying to make some bucks, you know? You wanted her to get a job. Hank, I just don't want her around him, okay? She gets... I don't know. She, something just happens to her. It's called a crush? Yeah. My only hope now that the wedding's off is that Ethan moves away and Teresa never sees him again. Ladies and gentlemen, the tower informs me there'll be a brief delay, but we will be taking off very shortly. I mean, they won't cancel the flight, will they? No, it's just the way things are these days. Flights, flights get delayed. Although, I don't know. This is something new. It looks like we're taking on another passenger. And it's got to be somebody important, because I have never seen a plane stop to take on somebody after it's left the gate. Please, go away, Ethan. Leave me alone. Doing in the park this time of night. I couldn't sleep. Woke up and found you gone. I was worried. Why, honey? I don't know. But I had the feeling I'd find you here. You know, I sensed that this place was important to you. And I think I know why. Non-neutral <laughs> corners, ladies. Please, as much as I enjoy a good spat, this won't do. We have much more important things on the table. <laughs> Your housekeeper is a liar. Her daughter isn't going to try to convince Ethan to marry Gwen. No, Teresa wants to keep him for herself. Yes, but attacking someone is hardly the way to get them to help you, dear. Get real, Julian. Your housekeeper and her daughter aren't interested in the least in trying to help us. No, the Crane Fortune. That's all they want, and they will do anything until they get it. Oh, you oh, no. No. Where is my daughter? I have no idea what you're talking about. Liar! You send her away just to get her out of Ethan's life. Oh, and what if I did? Uh, isn't that what you claim you want? To keep Ethan and Teresa apart? I demand to know where my daughter is. All right, Pilar, that's it. You're fired. <sighs> she most certainly is not. She works for me and will continue to do so. Have you lost your mind? I mean, how much more harm is this woman going to do? I mean, dear God, Louise has already moved into Sheridan's cottage. You have other children. Do you want them all intermarrying with this Lopez Fitzgerald brood? Oh, my that is enough, Rebecca. Get rid of her. Fire her. Gwen, one thing you have to remember, in spite of everything, is that Ethan still loves you. Just not enough to marry me. Excuse me. How's Gwen? She's hurting. What he did to her was brutal. So why'd they break up? It's complicated. I, you wouldn't understand unless you really know the people involved. You want to know what it was? What broke us up? Because I'll be happy to tell you. Teresa? Look, I know you're on this plane. Where are you? <laughs> Teresa, I know that's you under the blanket. Go away. 
No, Teresa, I can't do that. Get your stuff and come with me. Are you hard of hearing? She said go away. Leave the girl alone. Yeah, and get off the flight. You're gonna make us late for our connection. You're gonna have to get off this airplane, sir. Now, I don't care who you are. The tower tells us we can take off now. You're gonna have to exit immediately. You wanna know who stole Ethan from me? A gold digger, that's who. God, the best! So, uh, who was it? Anyone we know? You wanna know her name? I'll tell you her name. You came here tonight because you were with the Cranes. I know how that always upsets you. You just wanted to get out and clear your mind. You've always loved the park. You know me so well. Well, are you feeling better? Mm, better now that I'm with you. I have absolutely no intention of firing Pilar. Good night, Julian. <laughs> Pilar has something on Ivy. That must be it. Otherwise, she would have fired her on the spot. Now, I think Pilar knows exactly where the skeletons are hidden. You're probably right. The question is, where do we find the skeletons? We'll uncover them. Together. What if Teresa never comes back? I could not bear not seeing my little girl again. She'll come back, Pilar. She has to. Tell Ethan there can never be anything between them and that he must marry Gwen. Right now. Ethan's entire future is in Teresa's hands. Teresa, if you don't get off this plane, if you go to Australia, we might never see each other again. Don't do this to me, Ethan, please. It's you, Teresa. You're doing this to me. Leave her alone. Stand by your man, honey. I really must insist you get off this plane. Look, Teresa, you have to get off this plane. You've got to. Please, there is so much I have to tell you. Don't go, sweetie. You made a decision. You stick to it. 